Well, I'll tell you, it, it's interesting, and it's kind of both funny, haha, and funny peculiar. When <laughs> when you talk to um, facility directors and and you know senior directors, VPs, and managers, when they started their career, the majority of them didn't start out saying, "I'm going to be a facility manager and director." They they were doing something else that led them to this calling. And and typically, when I talk to them, it's you know they worked at a hospital, they integrated with the staff and they thought, you know, I, I would really like to work here because, you know, they, they kind of found this calling. Healthcare has become a calling for me, but I've, I've got 32 years in the military, retired two years ago. Um, I started out as a draftsman because I, I was into construction and I didn't know that that um, that option was available in the army, but I needed to be able to pay for my school. So it was out of necessity. So I, I knew I was going to do it. And but I wanted to do it on my terms, what I wanted to do. So I got into drafting and that led to a career path of, of construction, project management, project development. And what ended up happening is my military career supported my civilian career and my <laughs> civilian career supported my military career. So the things that I was doing and learning in the army, the training, I was able to transfer that over into the civilian side, which is techniques and tactics on how to do projects. Hmm. Um, 